Sarasota Bay, on the central west coast of Florida, was designated as an estuary of national significance by Congress in 1987. It is one of four national estuary programs in the Sunshine State. Its 455 square mile shallow coastal lagoonal system is formed by a necklace of barrier islands to the west and the mainland of Manatee and Sarasota counties to the east. Well, as you can see, this is a one beautiful system that we have here in Sarasota and a lot's been done over the past 15 years to recover Sarasota Bay. It's the number one economic engine of our area. More than 1,400 different native species of plants and animals inhabit the Bay Area, along with 600,000 human residents. The lure of year-round warmth and sparkling waters brings many to the Gulf Coast. An explosion of rapid growth in the 1960s led to a host of environmental problems for the Bay. There was no stormwater treatment, there were no wetland protections, the shorelines were seawalled and, and otherwise hardened. And as a result of those development activities, the eutrophic state of the bay began to incline, meaning that we were putting more nutrients into the bay system than the bay could naturally process itself. So it was literally eating itself to death. One of the first warnings was seen in the bay's seagrass beds, which provide shelter and protection essential to supporting much of the bay's marine life. Seagrass is an indicator species of water quality. A 30% decrease in the bay's seagrass coverage, measured from 1950 to 1988, was just one sign that the bay was in trouble. The work to save the bay was launched in 1990 with the passage of state legislation that required all wastewater discharged into the bay be treated with advanced standards. Interlocal Partners and Citizens, an association of state and local government organizations and private citizens, was created to provide input and each contributed to the project. By 1995, a comprehensive conservation and management plan was adopted to attack the problems in the bay. Seagrass recovery was a major element of the plan. The ambitious goal was to re-establish seagrass to 1950 levels. Today that goal has been reached and even surpassed. Seagrass in Sarasota Bay has been restored to 30% above the 1950 levels. Total seagrass beds in Sarasota Bay have increased from 8,600 acres to 12,641 acres. 5,158 acres of grass beds have also been converted from patchy to continuous. The return of seagrass reflects the bay's overall improvement in water quality and clarity, so much so that even the scallops have returned, with some of the highest counts recorded in Florida. We've seen a remarkable resurgence in bay scallops in the last two years in Sarasota Bay, and we're very excited about that. The spectacular results have primarily been achieved by stopping or reducing the nitrogen pollution flowing into the bay from sewage and stormwater discharge. We made a special effort to try to recycle and reclaim all of the water that we treated. We've done so now by connecting uh, farms, uh, residential neighborhoods, parks, and open spaces to a, a self-contained recycling system so that we've reached the point where we have no discharge even during the rainy periods. $557 million of public and private money has been spent on this massive cleanup effort so far. It's all about trade-offs and benefits, and, and you have to find that common ground of what are the trade-offs and benefits uh, that the community is willing to invest in. Well, the health of this bay is probably one of the most important things to what we do. If the bay is, is, is doing well, that means hopefully the gulf is going to do well. These are some fish that came in today. This grouper right here came off one of our offshore boats. The water is so much clearer. The seagrasses have come back. Areas where there was nothing, now you can start to see it. The result of the recovery program, I don't think, can be denied. Um, the success is, is clearly obvious, both to the, the scientists looking at empirical data and to the regular citizens, such as myself, just looking at clearer water, cleaner water, and more fish and, and more seagrass. As the bay improves, also the New York Shore waters of the Gulf of Mexico are also improving. We've found a new era here in the last decade, last two decades in Sarasota Bay, and I attribute that to the participation of every resident here in the, in the community.
Congratulations to the Sarasota Bay Interlocal Partners and Citizens Organization, the first place winner of the 2009 Golf Guardian Award in the Partnership category.